are here Moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you You are here Touching every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Healing every heart I worship you I worship you In the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, I worship you. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even if I don't see it, you're working. Even if I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker. In the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, moving in on me. I worship you. I worship. Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Well, whoa. <laughs> Welcome this morning as we do come together in this time of worship and celebrate our lives together as followers of Jesus. And this is, uh, is, is Commitment Sunday? Or, yeah, is that commitment, right? Is that the right word? We'll go with it. This is Commitment Sunday. And, and uh, during, when you come up for communion, if you brought your your, your, uh, your uh, 
uh, what do you call these, Craig? Commitment form. Commitment form. Oh, that's right. We're going, <laughs> we're going with commitment. We're going with commitment. You can bring those up here and, and place them up here as you come forward uh, to receive Holy Communion today. Uh, I invite you to do that. By the way, how are you? Very good. Very good. Very good. Welcome to any visitors who might be here today. And uh, in the back, I was going to say the back seat again. Uh, I, why do I always feel like I'm in a vehicle? Uh, in, in the chair in front of you is a welcome uh, pad if you'd like to share and, uh, uh, your, your information with us and we'd like to, to get to know who's here. So, Also, we'll be having uh, new members uh, Sunday, the 3rd of December, and we had a gathering this morning already uh, between services of some people who are going to be joining, and we're going to be doing it again uh, next Sunday between services, too. And this is for the council right now. I want to invite council members to be present so you get to know the, the uh, uh, help, help explain the ministry of the congregation. So, Also, um, Craig is going to be available to, uh, uh, are you going to be handing them out or handing out uh, f for the different ministry teams the, uh, uh, what, what you need, uh, what you feel like you need, the budget you need to fulfill your ministry for next year. So see Craig after the service today. Let me see. Oh, uh, I also want to say something too. Uh, Pastor Becca um, is, is, continues to be on house you might say house rest, okay, because of, of her concussion, okay? And this is what I've told her. Sometimes, well, I'm not going to, no, I better not say that. But this is what I've told her, um, is that take care of yourself now so you can come back and take care and, and, and do it. So please remember Becca in your prayers as she... Uh, recovers uh, from this, the, this the, the concussion. Okay. This coming Wednesday evening is we'll, at six o'clock. We'll have a Thanksgiving service, and rumor has it that the bishop is going to be <laughs> is 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 going to be uh, uh, doing the sermon that night. Rumor has it. I. I have it, I have it on, on, on a, she offered, I said yes, okay? <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Very good. Uh, Men of Spirit uh, Christmas party is December 2nd. So is, uh, Lynn, do you, is there anything you want to say about that? Just asking uh, anybody that's interested, it's open to the congregation, uh, with the registration form, right inside the okay. Excellent, excellent. And the, uh, the dress the turkey is still going on? And that ends today. That ends today. So if you haven't got your feather, now's the time. Okay? Very good. Are there any other announcements that need to be lifted up? If not, let's sing. Long as we commit our lives, especially today, to Jesus. Take my life and let So why would I question you now? You have provided, so why would I start to doubt? I've never been stranded, abandoned, or left here to find alone. So I'm giving you control. I 
is a river, then let it sweep over me. If I'm under fire, I know it's refining me. When I hear you calling out, I follow now, wherever the road may go. I know you're leading me. the baptismal font. Of course, here we are reminded of who we are and to whom we belong. We give our thanksgiving for baptism. Is there more than that? It's okay, I got bank time, okay? <laughs> so we begin here in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. 
At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By your water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning. The reading today is from first, or the third chapter of Colossians, beginning at the first verse. Before I read, this is from Paul, who wrote this while he was in prison. And he's acknowledging that, yes, we need to be rule followers in our society, but in those days especially, some of those rules were just plain cruel and mean. So what he's also doing in this reading is telling us that if indeed we are Christians, this is how we should live our lives. So the reading from Colossians. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever is in you that is earthly, fornication and purity, passion and evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways that you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger and wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion and kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has complaint against one another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful, and I'll add, grateful. I invite you to stand for the reading of the gospel. which is found in the Gospel of Matthew, the 25th chapter. Jesus said to the disciples, For it is as if a man going on a journey... But just wait a second. We are at the end of the church year right now. Next Sunday is Christ the King Sunday. And these texts that, that we hear on these last few Sundays have this kind of in-between, this idea of actually second coming, uh, kind of uh, those types of question type of things, and what we do in the meantime, okay? And that's kind of what this text is about. Once again, Jesus said to the disciples, for it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. Then the one who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five more talents, saying, Master, you handed over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. Master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. 
Then the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. The master said to him, Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward, saying, Master, I knew that you were a harsh man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, You wicked and lazy slave, you knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scatter? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten talents. For to all those who have, more will be given, and those who have an abundance, but from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. As for this worthless slave, throw him into the outer darkness, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. may be seated. invite you to please pray with me. Loving God, we are grateful this day for your grace that holds us in your spirit that blows through us. Your spirit that blows through this place. We're grateful this day for your word. Now may the words of my mouth and the thoughts and meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord, our God, our Redeemer. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I have been thinking about this sermon for over two weeks. Remember, Craig, what I said to you at that one meeting? But if you know me, that's very odd. I don't work that far ahead. I don't work that far ahead. But for the last couple of weeks, I've been mulling over this text and this day, because this is Commitment Sunday, and we're 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 asked to to talk about and and to to lift up and look at our gifts and talents and things like that and and how that impacts the greater good. So you know, I I, I was really taken by this by this text actually, this gospel text, the text of the talents, and and uh, you know the 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 text itself. It kind of speaks for itself, you know. The guy goes away, leaves, leaves uh, talents with servants. They use slaves. I, I wish we'd lose the word slaves, by the way. That doesn't do much for me. Uh, but, but servants and, and two of them do something with them, make them grow, and one does it, right? One doesn't. And so what, what's he tell the, the, the two that made it grow? What did he, what did he tell them? I can't hear you. I, I, need, I, I know I need... What? Well done, good and faithful servant. Trust, actually, it was trustworthy in the text. <laughs> but I, I, I've, I, I've, the, the, I've, I've, I've said it that way before, too. And to the, the one who did nothing with the, with, with the gift, what, what did he say? Oh, how stupid can you be, right? Kind of, you know... What, why didn't you do something? Now, I'd like to suggest that we do a little different twist to this story of the talents. And imagine this right here. Imagine if the, 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 the master left and left five talents with the one, two talents with the other, and one with the third. And the master comes back, and the one who had the five comes to the master and says, you, you, you gave me five talents to, to, to be used, and I, I tried this, and I tried that, and it, those things just didn't work, 
and I lost some, some things, all I have to bring back to you is three. What might the master say to that servant? Oh, the one who had the two. Same type of thing. Brought him back and said, you know, I, I tried to, I, 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 I tried to help develop this thing within the community. And it started out good, but then it, 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 it kind of fell apart. And I only have one talent to bring back to you. And you know, the, the third one probably was saying, ah, this is good, because I can give you back exactly what you gave me. Now tell me, what do you think the master would say to the first two? Huh? No. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he might say that. I, I, would, I, I would say for the first two, he would say, well done, good and trustworthy servants. What do you think he would say to the, the, the one who had won? What do you mean you didn't try and nothing? Huh? So what I'm getting at here is we have been given gifts to be used by God. Gifts that are, that maybe we're just discovering them too. And the worst thing that can happen is if we don't try. If we don't try to use them. If we, even if we fall flat in our face, God lifts us up again to try again, to do it again. Jasmine, would you put the Colossians text back up there? I think of the things that, that, that we are gifted with, and that there's things that we also need to let go of. And the Colossian text helps us to realize that. It says, you know, but now get rid of such things. Get rid of anger, wrath, man, malice, slander. Get rid of that stuff. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And later on in the text, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful image, where it says, as God's chosen ones... Holy and beloved, clothe yourselves. Clothe yourselves. In other words, put on. Wear it. Wear it. Let, let, let it be known. Clothe yourselves with these things. Compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, patience. And keep, let's keep on going there. I, I like this text. I really do. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all, clothe yourself. Once again, put on. Clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful, or as Lynn said, grateful. Put on these. These are gifts for us all to be used together for the lifting up of our community for both inside this place and outside those walls. That's what we do as people of God. We don't bury the gifts that God gives us. We're given the gift of life in Jesus. Let's live it now, always. I have a song that I'd like to teach you this morning. My one challenge this morning is I woke up and I couldn't sing. And you know, for a singer, that's really a, it, it bugs the crap out of me. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but we're going to give it a go anyway. And maybe this will help us, help us to uh, put some flesh on this whole thing. This is a song called Pass My Love Around. It was a song written by John Yovasaker. He's the one that wrote Morning Cry. And um, he wrote this for Lutheran Social Service, if I remember correctly. So I don't know what my voice is going to be like, but we'll see. And the chorus goes like this. Pass my love around, you're my hands 
my eyes I gave you ears to hear their cries Pass my love around You're an angel in disguise For you can make it come alive For you can make it come alive Please sing that with me Pass my love around You're my hand my eyes, I gave you ears to hear their cry. Pass my love around, you're an angel in disguise, for you can make it come alive, for you can make it come alive. So whenever we come around to that, please join in. I have no feet but your feet Do the loving deed I have no hands but your hands Fill the need You are my eyes to see their pain You are my heartbeat Do it in my name Remembering who you are Pass my love around You're my hands, my eyes I gave you ears to hear the cries. Pass my love around, you're an angel in disguise, for you can make it come alive. For you can make it come alive. And when you feel the heartache, the loving deed and when you see the suffering fill the need you are my eyes to see their pain you are my heartbeat do it in my name respond right from the start pass my love around you're my hands my eyes I gave you ears to hear their cry Pass my love around, you're an angel in disguise, for you can make it come alive, for you can make it come alive. One more time. Pass my love around, you're my hands, my eyes, I gave you ears to hear their cry. Pass my love around, you're an angel in disguise, for you can make it come alive, for you can make it come alive, for you can make it come alive. Amen.
I invite you to please pray with me. Gracious and loving God, you give talents and gifts to your people, and either with those you equip us to serve. Turn us from fear and our own self serving nature, that we use our talents to glorify you and to encourage our neighbor. We ask that you clothe us with those things which you would have us reflect. Help us to be what you call us to be as your children. We ask you to instill honesty and integrity in world leaders. Free those who are oppressed. Expose all corruption and bring redemption to people who are experiencing injustice. We pray for peace in your world, and especially we remember the area of Gaza and Israel, the Ukraine. We pray for peace and justice. We pray for the gifts and ministries of our congregation here. Help us as we move forward in your mission for us. Give to all your children, youth and adults who study your word, faith and love to carry that out and shape us by your love and show us how to encourage one another. We give you thanks for those who've gone before us and to who have shown us the way, who have been representatives of your love in our lives. Especially this day, we remember Dorothy. Help us to live out our lives in such a way that others see you through us. You know the prayers of our hearts. So we trust in your mercy, and we lift them to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let's take a moment and share Christ's peace with one another. That's peace to the front row. That's peace to you. What? Well.
receive our morning offering at this time. Stand as you're able. We gather together around this table here today as a community of believers trusting that Christ is present here. Promise us to be present. We remember that in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Then again, after supper, he took the cup, he gave thanks and gave it for them all to drink, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. It's shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembrance your kingdom, O Lord, and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. The table is set and it's all prepared and it's for you. So come and eat.
Directed by the Spirit for service to all, each of us a minister of God. We are called and gifted by our God, by our God. We are called and gifted by our God. And the gifts we are given are gifts to be shared. stand as you're able. Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace and his peace. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we sing. We can take a couple extra verses, can't we? Looking at the time. Hey. <laughs> 12 minutes, hey. I, I tell you what, just, just slow the tempo way down. <laughs> Yo 
God so loved the world. I suppose you're waiting for me to say something. <laughs> Seven minutes. <laughs> Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And don't hide your talents. Use them. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us. Whoever believes in him will live forever. God.